it's like the government expects everyone to be an accountant. And the taxman just wants the much that they can get from business people. And it's becoming a very difficult time for business people because when the taxman comes, yeah. he has authority to say, you owe us this much. That's why you hear in the news someone was uh, owing KRA 400 uh, billion and then they pay 11 million. Yeah? You wonder what did they look at? How did they calculate it to come to 11? And that's why I keep saying the calculations of KRA are not 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. It's 1 plus 1 is equals to some amorphous figure that they come up with. Yeah. Before you try to mitigate and say, okay, this figure you're giving me is not the right figure. You have gotten sick. You're spending money on lawyers. You're not concentrating on your business. And that's how you're saying, let our taxation be simple. Uh, full people are saying, make it simple for us. Because paying these VAT is becoming difficult as per the nature of our business. Tax from the source. Not only that. Right now we have employed, the government has employed so many uh, people to, they are calling out the, the tax assistance or something like yes, that. Yes. They are supposed now to go door to door. Mm -hmm. You know what that means to a business person? It means terror at your doorstep every day. Because this person that is coming, is coming with the law. One thing that does, this person does not understand is that you have to make profit so that you can make something for yourself and something for the government. There is no motivation if all I work for is for the government. And you're bringing me a policeman in the name of a tax officer who has the law that can finish my business, that can take me to jail, who does not understand this business. So as the government is trying to mop up money through taxation, one thing I would request, let them sit with people. Because every time we call them, they will say, maybe you don't know how the holding works. We think we should teach you how VAT works. We try to tell them when you calculate input minus output on my fuel that I've bought, yeah. and I've lost 100 liters along the way, the input, the price you calculated at, my output, which you're expecting is the April price, is not the same because my cost of production has gone up. I lost fuel mm. along the way, yes. which is a norm in our business. So what do you do? Pick your money from the depot. When I carry my fuel, whether I make losses or I don't make losses, you have already picked your money. And this is going also to, to, to be seen even in the market, because in our market, which fluctuates every day, you find the seller will never tell you I'm selling to you at 100 shillings plus 16% VAT. It's everything put together. They'll say this is the price. And then you see a small margin, you buy. Like now we did not have our wholesale cap. We were buying at retail. But the taxman will, will say, no, our 16% should be intact because this money that is factored in the pricing system. No, and we're telling them, instead of these pilferages and the stress you'll give,